Okay, this video is about getting started with the basics of Edpuzzle. Um, but before I get into the basics, I just want to show you. So if you're following my suggestion and using this method to be able to teach from home, this is a Google site that I've created that hopefully you started with this video. And then uh, I borrowed a video that I found on YouTube of a guy for Cre Screencastify, which does a great job of uh, teaching how to do that and so forth. And I'm going to keep adding to this. And I made one of those tiny URLs. So that's called, so if you want everyone to get back to this page, it's tiny URL forward slash Ted teach from home. Tiny URL forward slash Ted teach from home. And that will bring you back to here. Feel free to share this with anyone that might benefit from it. Now I understand that this might be somewhat more involved in terms of how to teach your kids from class, from home. But uh, we all have time on our hands. And I think this is a very effective way because it lets you literally talk to your students. And as I've already shown you in some of the previous videos, it allows you to be able to see that the students have watched the video. Because if you just post a video, you don't know whether they actually watched it. Uh, you could create a test, but this already has the ability to put tests into it so you can literally see yes they watched it they watched a portion of it you can see exactly what percentage of your videos they've watched and you can see how they scored on the questions in edpuzzle that match up with your video so uh let's go through let's get you started first of all when you first get into hey teachers whoops i didn't mean to start that here we go okay when you first get into edpuzzle we already talked about the fact that you should log on and hopefully your school district is a google classroom district and you've already made google classrooms for your students and then if you have so once you log in as a teacher right here i'm logged in as myself and you're ready to add your classes you might have nothing here if this is the first time you're using it so if you're ready to add your google classroom to it you just come down over here on the left side find add a new class and of course now you could create a class from scratch then it's more complicated you have to give each student the join code and explain to them how to you know insert the join code much easier is the google classroom integration and it is it's it's superb if you have this and you've already using google classroom so if you click on the google classroom import and you just check off the classes. Now, I obviously have some checks already because those classes I already have included. But like here's a class that actually wasn't of students of mine, but rather our para professionals from Hackensack that I taught something. So if I were to click this and I could click all of them if I didn't have others, like if I had like eight Google Classrooms, I could check them all off and then you import the classes it's literally going to create those classes for you. So in this case, I'm actually making a class for Hackensack Paris. So when I click on Hackensack Paris, I don't have any videos in there for them yet. So it's a brand new class ready to be assigned different videos that I create. Um, now, Hackensack Paras, this new class of mine, they do have a Google Classroom. So if I go back to my Google Classroom, here's Hackensack Paras. And I had 18 paraprofessionals a week ago who I was showing them. I was giving them a little tour of Google Classroom because they needed to know how to do that when we were doing a little ed camp for them a week ago. So I made a class. So now I just took that and I added it to Ed Puzzle. Now, if you simply post it to your students, you know, to go to Edpuzzle, even if they've never seen it before and they have never logged in, as long as they log in to Edpuzzle as a student. So remember, and I'll log off again so you can see it. So if, if you so you just direct your students to log into Edpuzzle, they click log in, they say I'm a student and they use their Google um, login. Then when they get to Ed Puzzle, over on the left hand side will be the class you just, uh, your class will be listed there, as well as any other teachers in your district that have assigned those kids to use Ed Puzzle. So if there's more than one teacher, they'll see multiple teachers over here, and they get used to that real fast. The kids are used to using multiple platforms, so it's not hard for them. But the the Google Classroom integration is superb. 
because uh, it's you just create the class it automatically imports the kids by the way let me go back and log in as myself as a teacher instead of a student and remember I always use Google much easier with the integration and I'm gonna log in using my school Google account Now, when you come back to your classes to see what classes you have over here on the left hand side, I just created a new class called Hackensack Paris. And let's now, if I click on students, any student that was in your Google Classroom is here. So there's that. And then, if let's say a day later, a student gets added to your Google Classroom and they're not in your Ed Puzzle, all you have to do is come back. To add puzzle, click on students, and let's say you now have 19 students, but your Ed Puzzle only shows 18. Just click this. Boom. It'll automatically grab them from your Google Classroom. Done. That's how you create a class using Google Classroom, which my district does. And that's how you add a student later. Always start from Google Classroom. Once once a student gets added to your Google Classroom then a quick click in here import students from google classroom will add them to you that's the end of this video let's move on to the next one if and when you are ready